Now I know what you're thinking. But Alex, this is a science channel. Pi is math and pi is food, but it's not science. Science is in everything. Fun fact, I'm a stress baker and this week has been crazy and so we are making pie. Now I've gotta give credit where credit is due. I'm stealing this recipe from Sorted Food. They make amazing recipe videos. They have an awesome YouTube channel. You should check them out. And they made an apple blueberry pie, but I'm gonna make an apple blackberry pie because blackberries were on sale. Also, it's pie day. Did I forget to mention that? So I pre-made my dough last night because I am prepared like that. And so we have a really hard ball of dough. Ah. Now the dough is really simple. It was made from flour, sugar, butter, and egg, which is really unusual in an American pie dough, but the sorted boys are from the UK, so I'll let it slide. So the apple is one of a few select plants that has had its genome sequenced. A couple years back, they sequenced a golden delicious and found 57,000 genes across 17 chromosomes. Apples turn brown when you cut into them because when you do so, you're exposing the tissue inside to oxygen. When oxygen enters the cells of the apple, an enzyme known as polyphenol oxidase begins to oxidize compounds already present in the cells into O-quinones. Is it quinone or quinone? Do you know? I actually don't. I always thought it was quinone. Quinone? I'm gonna go with quinone. <laughs> These O-quinones help to prevent bacterial or fungal infection in the cells, which makes sense if the fruit has just been damaged or cut into. These O-quinones are mostly colorless, but they're subject to further reactions, which turn them brown. Now, if you dip your apple slices into lemon juice, the acidity in the lemon juice will actually reduce the activity of the polyphenol oxidases, meaning that they will produce fewer O-quinones and you will get less brown on your apple. Now the holes atop a pie are not purely for decoration. When you begin to heat up your pie, the gases inside warm up, and as their temperature increases, so does the pressure that they're exerting on the top of the pie. If you didn't cut holes in the top, the top of your pie would actually burst, and that wouldn't be very good for anyone. Okay, real talk pie in the oven time. So, Bite Size passed 10,000 subscribers on YouTube this week, and I don't know how to thank you other than to bake you guys a pie. I wish I could send it to all of you, but it would be very little slices of pie. Anyways, I, you guys are wonderful and I read every single message and comment that you guys send me on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and it, it means so much to me that you guys are watching and that you guys are learning stuff and I love science and I love sharing it and so thank you for being there on the other end. So I really, I really don't know what to say other than thank you, have some pie and I love you. Go forth, do science, make messes, and bake pies. Happy Pie Day.